happy happy to do it. Thanks, y'all, for you know, city staff for putting this together. For the citizens, uh, this has been a project back and forth for a long period of time, and I know there was some um, citizen concern about certain areas and greenery and trees and other things. And I know y'all worked really hard to do as much as we can in that part part of the neighborhood to make sure. But I do think it's an important project across the board. This is a state project. It may be in federal. Y'all y'all clarify that. But providing safe routes to school for kids, and there are kids mm -hmm. that are walking to school in the middle of the street, and this gives them the opportunity to be not on the street walking to and from school. And so um, I just thank y'all for working with the neighborhood to to uh, limit uh, you know the, anything that we might have to do with greenery and trees and other parts. And and I'm sure you'll communicate with the neighborhood as we move forward. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Council Member. Uh, Brendan, you ready to go? Brendan, are you connected? Oh, no. <clears throat> Brendan, are you connected? Can you can you hear us okay? He's having technical difficulties, I bet. Set, are you there? There we go. Yes. Can can you hear us? We couldn't yes. hear you. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready to get started, Jeff? Are we recording this meeting? Yes, it's actually already recording. I wanted to make sure um, if we were if the council member wanted to speak that we started the recording. So we're we're going. Okay. Just want to make sure that everybody's aware that we are recording. Okay, Brandon, you wanna get started? Uh, thank you. Um, presentation. All right, well, thank you everybody for attending the pre-construction community meeting uh, for Safe Routes to School um, for the Mary Lou Phillips uh, Elementary School. Uh, city project number 102411 and council district three. My name is Brendan McInnes. I'm the project manager. Um, we also have Kim Lee Horn and associates as the project engineer and the contractor is North Star Construction. I believe um, Mr. Crane may have already spoke. I missed that portion. Is that correct? Yes. That's correct. Um, so uh, city staff, um, again, I'm Brendan McKinnis. I'm the project manager. We also have Lisette Acevedo, who is the program manager on this call. Hello, everybody. This is Lisette. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, project engineer uh, Ms. Kimley Horn Associates. Uh, Scott Arnold is on the call for them. And we have um, North Star Construction um, uh, with Luke and Mike who are also on the call. Uh, the purpose of the meeting is to provide information about the construction of the Safe Routes to School project in the ML Phillips area. The meeting will include information for the project limits, the project scope, typical construction process, project phasing and traffic control, as well as the project schedule and notification. If you have any questions, we'll try to answer them at the end of the presentation, and we ask that those are put into the chat box. The attached map is showing the overall project limits of where we'll be expecting to see construction activities within the red box.
And on, on this page, uh, this is um, the ML Phillips is highlighted in blue in the center of the picture. The light, bli light blue cyan color are existing sidewalks in the area, as well as the yellow um, lines are the proposed sidewalks that we are proposing to do as part of this project. The order of the streets listed here are the anticipated um, order the contractor is proposing to progress through the project, starting with Olive Place, working along Lock Avenue, working Bingham Boulevard, then Edge Hill Road, Mary's Lane, and finishing with Curzon Avenue. The project scope is approximately a quarter mile radius around the school. We will be constructing new sidewalks, driveway reconstruction, curb ramps, replacement of non-compliant sidewalks, as well as signs and pavement markings, including crosswalks. The typical con Construction pro process will start with notifications. We'll be putting uh, project signs out as well as door hangers on residents and stakeholders doors seven days in advance of construction activity. We'll follow up installing traffic control, having um, barrels and cones in the work zone um, in the areas where we're working. The contractor will install erosion control to keep any materials outside of storm sewers and storm drains. They'll proceed with clearing the site um, in the area of the work, conducting any underground utility work and adjustments. Uh, they're planning on starting on driveway removals and replacements on the street as part of the first phase when this is work is underway, it's typically around a seven day process from having the driveway removed um, to replaced, provided that we get um, concrete breaks um, for the driveways. But there will be a period of time, the driveways will be um, replaced that you cannot access that area. They will follow up once they have the driveways in, they're gonna be working on the ADA ramps and sidewalk construction to tie into those driveways and then tie into the street crossings. They'll proceed that with landscaping and sodding of the disturbed areas. They'll clean up the area, remove their traffic control, and do all their final cleanup on the street as they're moving on to the next area. These are a few pictures from a previous job um, that we have done with the city of Fort Worth. The picture on the left is showing a driveway being reconstructed. The picture on the right is showing that same area, showing how the sidewalks will be tied into those driveways. And they have the, they graded on each side of the sidewalk. And then these two pictures are representing the one on the right is showing the sidewalk as a finished product on the back of the curb. On the left on the picture on the right is the same as the previous two pictures showing it fully sodded in of that same driveway and sidewalk area uh, being constructed after the contractor has left the area. Project schedule and notification. Currently, it is estimated that the project will start in April of 2022. The project duration is 270 calendar days with an estimated completion date of March of 2023. The contractor work hours will be from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 8.30 and 3.30 to 4.30. Closures are prohibited immediately adjacent to the school when it's in session. 
9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekends. Um, they are allowed to work if they request um, permission in advance. Project notification. We will be putting out project signs seven days before the start of construction, as well as placing door hangers on residents and businesses seven days before construction. We're gonna to try to keep those closely moving with the work as it progresses down the streets. So your the citizens are notified just prior to the work beginning. And the project schedule could be affected by unforeseen events such as utility conflicts or weather. So at this point, um, I'd like to open it up to any questions anybody might have. Uh, Brendan? Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Alan Conroy. I live on Edge Hill. Unfortunately, I could not get into the WebEx, so I'm just here as a, a, a conference call. Um, but where the outline is on the uh, map that was on the flyer that was released, are there going to be sidewalks, at, say, on both sides of Lock, both sides of Edge Hill, both sides of Curbon, Curzon? Uh, no, um, pull up the map of the area. So lock will, lock will have sidewalks on one side of the road, which will alternate depending on the location. Um, Curzon will have sidewalks on one side of the road, um, on the west side of Edge Hill and a, a little bit on the corners. You know, which was the other street that you had a question on? Well, Edge Hill, that's where we live. Um, Edge Hill, south of Cruzon, will have sidewalk on the west side of the road. On the north side of Cruzon, the sidewalk will be on the east side of the road. Brendan, um, someone in attendance would like for you to show the map again while you're explaining that, please. <clears throat> Can you scroll back to that map? Yes. And could you repeat the information on uh, Edge Hill, please? Yes. In terms of, oh. I'm gonna get back to the map here. Uh, I think y'all should be able to see the map. Can't tell what side of the street it's on. I mean, you you can a little bit better on Edge Hill, but you said it alternates on Lock Avenue. I don't see that. Um, so let me. I'll I'll, I'll start with um, Edge Hill and I'll move over to Lock. So, on Edge Hill, on Edge Hill south of Cruzon, the proposed sidewalk is on the west side of the road. On Edge Hill north of Cruzon. The sidewalk will be on the east side of the road. On Lock thank Avenue. You. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying thank you. On Lock Avenue, from Olive Place to uh, the uh, Tex Boulevard, the sidewalk will be on the north mm -hmm. side of the road. At Tex Boulevard, it'll transition to the south side of the road, and it'll be on the south side of the road from Tex Boulevard all the way to Wrigley Avenue. <clears throat> Brennan, there's another comment in the chat and asking a question it says, can you please tell us about the traffic control um, for the project that will happen while the sidewalks are being constructed? Thanks, Chad. For the traffic control during construction, the contractor will have um, barrels and cones along the shoulder um, in the lane while they're doing work um, to keep um, safety of their employees. 
um, doing the work and um, also keeping out um, people right adjacent to that area of work. So you'll see barrels and cones. As that work is completed, those will be picked up, the area cleaned up, and it moved to the next work area. Did that answer the question on traffic control? I'm not sure. Jay Parker, you can unmute, I believe, and you can you can ask a question if that if that didn't help you or if you have a follow up question. No, I'm, I'm unmuted, and I mean that does help some. I guess my biggest concern is uh, it, it may be a, a different concern that with with the sidewalks going in, I certainly think kids will be safer walking on this street. <clears throat> but there is tons of traffic on this street and people fly down this street, just like they do on Edge Hill. Um, so I, I don't know if the, I'm assuming that current um, speed bumps that we have will not be painted or is there going to be a change in the speed limit on the street? We have signs that say 20 miles an hour, but never an enforcement of that. Did any of that get affected? Uh, we are not proposing to change any of those elements. Thank you. Brennan, there's another question in the chat from S. Dillard. And they're asking about the order of construction again. Um, I believe you're at the correct sign. Can you please describe the order of construction again is the question. And I think you're on the, the, the good slide to talk about that. Thanks, Chad. Uh, the proposed order of construction is to um, start on Olive Avenue, um, work up Olive Avenue. Um, once they're complete or getting complete with Olive to move on to Lock Avenue, um, work down Lock. Um, towards um, Bingham. And then they're going to work down Edge Hill. Then um, come back and do Mary's Lane and um, cruise on. Hello. Hello. Can I ask? Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my question is this: Are you gonna do the driveways first, and then the sidewalks after? Because my mom is handicapped, and she's got to have access to the street either down the sidewalk in front of the house or the driveway. Are you going to do them one at a time? They they will be worked around the same time, but if we know your address, we can accommodate um, that access for you to make sure okay. she always maintains access. Okay, and I have one other question. My uh, controls for my sprinkler system is in the path of the sidewalk. Do y'all move those or do I get my people to do it? Uh, we, uh, the city is proposing or planning to adjust those um, as part of the project. Okay, in other words, y'all will move them. Yes, ma'am. We will move it um, just outside of the sidewalk um, um, limits. Okay. And you guarantee them because the gas company broke mine in two places and it wasn't realized until they were no longer here and it cost me a lot of money to get it fixed. So I'm asking you. We will work with the contractor to make sure they're tested before the adjustment um, for operation as well as after the adjustment for operation. 
Okay, and when you start on my street, which is Mary's Lane, I will talk to you at that point about access for my mother who is handicapped. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much. Brennan, there's no other questions in the chat right now. Um, any, anyone is free to, to unmute and, and answer any questions or ask any questions and we'll try to help you. Just one thing to mention, if you're a call-in user and you're muted, you can hit star six uh, to unmute your line. Uh, Brendan, this is Alan Conroy again. Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, okay, so our driveway, will we will not have access to our driveway during the first phase of the project. Is that, did I understand that correctly? Uh, while, while they're re rebuilding it, that w there will be a period um, that access will not be able to be maintained. Um, if you have a wide driveway, there may be a chance to build it in portions, um, but most of the driveways on the project are um, fairly narrow, which would not allow two-phase construction. Uh, we have a double-wide driveway, but okay. So street parking will be allowed. There shouldn't be a problem with street parking, one hopes during that time. But I'm thinking with construction barrels and that sort of thing up, it's gonna get pretty tight on some of these streets when driveways are closed and uh, construction materials are out there and equip, uh, heavy equipment and that sort of thing. Will there, will there be additional police patrols or community patrols during that time? at night. I can try to answer that question for you. My name is Buck Wheeler. I'm the commander for West Division. Yes, sir. Uh, so are you asking uh, during construction if uh, we'll have extra patrol? Yes. Um, or the citizen. Go ahead. Or the citizen patrol or whatever would be appropriate. Um, we can definitely, it, it's really easy for us to alert the citizens on patrol or any community group so they know. Uh, and, and quite often, if when there's construction projects, um, as long as whether it's citizens or the construction group, usually we know about it uh, and we put it out to our patrol officers uh, to keep an eye on, do extra patrol in that area. So the, the short answer is yes. Uh, well, if, if there's construction, we're going to know about it and we'll try to have a higher visibility. Um, but it also, it helps if citizens, if, if, uh, if we see, especially after hours on the construction site, if anybody sees any suspicious behavior, people milling around the construction site, definitely call us because, uh, construction sites, a lot of folks will look, look at that as an opportunity to steal equipment as well. But, uh, the short answer is yes, we'll, we'll definitely have higher visibility, but feel free to call us and ask for more extra patrol. That never hurts. Thank you, commander. Who would we call? Because I think that there's been uh, an uptick in activity in this area already with stealing parts from cars. If they are on the street, that is more likely to happen. This is yeah. Officer Haddad. I'm, I'm your neighborhood patrol officer. Um, the the uptick, um, the uptick you're talking about is something I asked them to. Uh, that I asked originally North Association to share with a group, and, and and that was just specific to some catalytic converters. Um, as as far as uh, break-ins or anything like that, I, I haven't had a an uptick in in that. 
right. but uh, we, did, no, we, did have, we, we did have a couple of catalytic converters hit um, over the last couple of weeks, and that was just kind of a a trend that we were seeing because of the value of the catalytic converter going up with some with some stuff going on overseas. Right. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely heard chatter about it in the neighborhood. I don't mm -hmm. have a garage, so I just try to back my vehicle in as close to the house as I can. I don't mm -hmm. think it'll stop them, but I have, uh, you know, I also have cameras, but it hasn't stopped them from trying to get into my car. No, certainly yeah. not. No, I mean, people are going to try to get in. I mean, you know, they, they target that neighborhood um, and I can discuss that with you guys. Uh, I'm sure nobody, you know, everybody on here, they want to discuss this project, but you can call me. I'm your neighborhood patrol officer. I'm Officer Haddad. Um, if you don't have my number, if you want to jot that down now, I'll give it to you and then we can discuss that in person. But that's a 817-253-3501 and I'm your neighborhood patrol officer. Yeah, I've met you. I know who you are. We've talked Perfect. before. Yeah, we, we, can, we can catch up. And then there was one, there's another question in the chat. It's just, and this may be for Jeff. It says, it's asking, where will this recording be available to watch again? So Jeff, where can folks find the recording of this meeting? So it'll actually be posted in two places. Uh, it'll be on our, the city of Fort Worth YouTube channel. Uh, if you've ever gone to that, uh, it'll be listed uh, on there, but it will also be on our project page. Um, which I'm going to put the web address right into chat so everybody can have it, uh, or you can just uh, search Phillips uh, on the on the website and it'll show up that way too. Okay, that that's great. And also, I, I tried to put the neighborhood patrol officer's phone number in the chat. Could you please verify that and make sure I got it correct, please, sir? Yeah, it looked like it was correct. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So one other note, um, I did put the, the project page link uh, in the chat, but one thing to note on that page is once construction begins in April, we will be updating that page uh, at least monthly. Um, so you'll kind of have progress on where we are and what's next and what we just completed. Uh, so you can go to that page anytime for an update. Uh, or of course you can call the project manager if you have questions. But uh, this website will be a good place just for general uh, high level detail on where we are on the project. I have a question. I'm I'm on the phone call in so I can't see any chats or websites. Um, is there a way I can get the website for updates? So the web the web address is uh, Fort Worth, Texas, all spelled out. Uh, FortWorthTexas.gov. Okay. okay. And, and then once you visit that, if you the right in the upper right corner there's a search box and if you just type in uh, Phillips. Uh, okay. you'll, you'll, it'll be one of the first pages to show up and that'll be the easiest thing since, uh, since you can't see the link on the, on the screen. Okay. Thank you. Sure. And on that, if I got on there now, I would be able to see details about, um, what's going to happen and, uh, and timeline, that kind of thing. <gasps> So the timeline isn't up there quite yet. Um, I, okay. I haven't been given that information, but it'll be up probably tomorrow or Friday at the latest, um, whatever we have. But um, there's quite a bit of information on this project on that page at the moment. Um, a lot of the stuff we did for the state for the funding is, is there. So the environmental studies, the manual, the scopes, the plots, the construction plans, but not the timeline. It's all it's all on there. Some a lot of detail for you to look at. Okay, thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Brendan, are you still there? Did you drop off? Uh, no, I'm still here. Okay. I don't see anything else in the chat. So I guess we can take additional questions if anyone has any other questions or um, we could conclude the meeting, Jeff, or, or do we need to stay on here for a certain amount of time? I'm sorry, I'm not sure about the format. Uh, if, there, if there aren't any more questions, um, we can we can stop the presentation. Um, we always stay on a couple of minutes. Uh, but if anyone has any other questions, feel free to ask them. If not, we'll stop the presentation and the recording and stay on for a couple more minutes. Oh, Brendan, this is Alan Conroy again. Sorry yes, to be a pain. Um, I just remembered we have our address on both sides of our driveway, you know, stenciled in there. Will those be replaced? I will need to verify that in the plans, but I believe that is a item that will be replaced. Oh, okay. So that would be on the website in terms of specs and that sort of thing. Uh, yes, and I will. Okay. I can verify um, and get um, get back with a um, answer for that. All right. Thank you, sir. Jeff, are we going to be able to see who's all in attendance and are we going to be able to contact Mr. Conroy and give him that answer? So, no, um, if if you do have a follow up, please um, send a in chat your phone number or your email or send a private. Chat message to Brendan or. Chad with that information so we know how to reach out to you. Um, also, here's Brendan's contact to, information. Yeah. Yes. So if you all have any questions, uh, my phone number is listed as well as my email address. And if you, uh, Mr. Conroy, if you can just shoot me a email or um, a phone call, um, that way I have a way to contact you. I will get back to you. If you, yeah, if you're a caller, you might be able to take a picture with your phone also uh, of this so you can have the contact information as well. Brandon, we the, can go ahead and the read your people, phone number. Yeah, I was going to say the call-in people right. can't see the screen, so right, please read it true. out. So my, my phone number is 817-392-2817. And that is Brendan McKinnis at FortWorthTexas.gov, B-R-E-N-D-A-N dot M-C-I-N-N-E-S at Fort Worth, Texas, all spelled out, dot gov. Uh, and, and having that information, not only that you're providing the patient, but also the employer at the time that they may need further treatment or... Um, did somebody ask a question? Is there any other questions? I have a question. I, I went to the website and I'm just wondering um, if what is, I don't know what this means on the drawings. It says EX row, X row with the blue highlights. What is that? Uh, that is the existing uh, city right of way. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome.
Were there any additional questions in the chat? No, there are no additional questions in the chat. Yep, I'm trying to ask a question. Uh, that sounds like someone's just unmuted phone, maybe. Background. Okay. okay I, think, I think I think we're uh, I think we're good then. Well, thank you to the representatives from the city for putting this together and holding this meeting. Thank you. Are you welcome? And thank you all for That's attending. Side of Edgefield, anyway. <laughs> good luck, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Conroy. I think that should conclude our presentation. And I'll stay on the uh, chat till about seven um, if needed or on the call to answer any questions if anybody has some, if they're late. Right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you.